What's up guys? Welcome back. Another day, another vlog. Not even a vlog, it's an install video. But today we have something special for you guys. Mom! What? I'm, I'm doing an install video! I have the Brom harness for me. You feel me? Whoop! Why is it pink? Hold up. I'm playing. This is for my lovely girlfriend. I saw it online. I was like, I have to get this for her. I have my red one. Actually, didn't do an install on that just because I just began lazy. But my red one is installed. Today, we're going to install this one. Comes with this, the bolt to attach it. Back of it has this. But I'm going to take this off because I have a harness. Everyone's just ruining my video. I have this. I'm gonna take this part off because I have a harness, <laughs> a universal harness bar from Braum. This is the left side. Same thing, I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna take this back off and then wrap it around the harness. Today, we are literally going to just need a 14 millimeter socket and a wrench. Or no, a ratchet. So let me show you guys what you need to get done. He said he needed a ratchet? <laughs> I don't mind the Birkenstocks with the socks, but simply to take this off, all you really have to do is just undo this. I really hope I remember how to put this back on. Oh, that's easy. Do that, take that buckle out and just Feed it back through. Honestly, think that the only reason you would need this if you would find somewhere in your back seats to bolt this onto, but I simply don't need to do that. Just put it all the way back through. This is such a pretty pink color. Just go through. And first one done. All right, so moving on inside the car, as you can see, I have my Brom harness. Um, and right there is we're going to take out that bolt so we can put in the the eye bolt that they gave us and a little tricky spot which I actually haven't figured out where everybody else puts their stuff because no one ever wants to tell secrets um, you pretty much have to unbolt this seat belt right here the, what the heck do you call this thing you have to unbolt it and there's a little like thing in my jigger that keeps it kind of in place like this you undo that you put the um, kind of the strap the end of that strap and you just connect it and you put the bolt back in that's what I did here and it's pretty sturdy I mean they wouldn't connect this if it wasn't sturdy your seatbelt has to be sturdy but yeah as I was talking about I'm just gonna put it on the back of the harness just like that one so let's go. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is take off this bolt right here. This is what connects the harness and the, the Brom harness to the frame. Simply a 14 millimeter. That was very, that was kind of stupid loose. <laughs> that was not good. Okay. This is gonna take forever. Right, bolt is out okay now you're gonna grab this bolt right here this came with the harness just the eye bolt and you're pretty much just gonna fit it back in okay tighten that up just like to just grab whatever can fit in just twist it tight to however tight you want it to be not too tight because you'll strip it but these bolts are pretty strong Yeah, that's good. Don't bet my screwdriver. First bolt done. Next is this one, the hardest one. All right, next bolt is inside here. Try to find it. Pretty 
Let's just loosen it from here. Definitely one of the most difficult ones. I wish I had a, a wrench, but I do not. I don't know if you can really see, but there's a black bolt right here. This is working a little better. And from my mistakes. Latch is almost out and it is out all right so this little this kind of little buckle thing right here now that is where you're gonna attach this guy try your best to attach it is not the easiest thing to do struggle bus okay so pretty much I that's how I have it this is locked into this now you're just gonna screw this part back in will be golden also i undid the zip tie and this one to give me a little bit more slack so now we are trapped inside of the car because it is raining but it was literally just so sunny all right let's finish tightening this up Alrighty, this is now attached. So let's see, really tight. Hard part is over. My back is killing me. All right, next step. Grab this one. Let's feed it through. Okay, this. You don't need that. You just need this. Okay, make sure everything's in the right direction. Literally just done. And that's connected, unlike the other one. Oh. Hey guys. Welcome to the last step. This tire. All right. Now, take the buckle out again. I should have just left it undone. Feed this through. And feed this through. Sorry, right, I'm trying to look at mine. How did I do that? That looks so fancy. Okay, so you got this one. After you have this one, grab it again. Go under. Just like this. Pull this back. Like this. Once you have that, you wrap this one under. And you reach behind. And you go through the loop again, just like that. Now you go for a final time. You go through this loop, pull, you go through this. This is how you have it secure. There you go, just like that. So show you one more time. So undo that buckle. Undo the bottom one. Through the top. And you're gonna go back in. Down from the bottom. You're gonna go through this loop, the, uh, what do I call it? Loop de loop. The bracket, whatever. No, you called it a loop. Yeah, whatever, loop de loop bracket, poopy poop. Okay, you go through it again, you pull it under. And there you go. Also, get rid of all the slack. Um, it's best to adjust this when there's somebody sitting, especially the person who's usually going to sit there the most. And then once I do this and keep everything tight, so I'm pulling like this. Put that bracket and push it down. And then just pull these two. I like to just start to roll this one up and get a zip tie like this one. And zip tie it down. Makes it stay. But uh, I don't have the big zip ties right now, and I need to see how it fit the best. All right, that's pretty much it in how to install a harness on your Civic Type R. You are going to need a harness bar, 
so you can uh, strap it onto something. So pretty much on the left side, you're gonna want to try to, if you have stock seats, this is for stock seats, find that bolt that holds that seat belt. Find that, take it off, place that little loop onto it, the bracket. It's gonna be kind of hard to get it back on, but get it back and screw the bolt. Make sure that that seat belt is attached. Tighten it down and you're done for that side. And you saw how simple it was to do the right side early just with that eye bolt, snap it right on. And that's pretty much it. And then you guys saw how I did this. Pretty much when you find the right right kind of um, length that you want, you're going to roll this up and you're literally just going to uh, zip tie it. But overall, thanks for watching, guys.